This video shows you how to view 2011 UK Census data with Society Roam. You can find your location by zooming in on it. Double click or double tap on the map window to zoom in. You can also search with place names, postcodes and geographic coordinates. The search box is at the top left. You'll find the census layers in the overlays menu in the sidebar, which is open when you start Society Roam. There are three categories, individual, household and neighbourhood. To browse all the available layers, scroll down the list. Just select any layer to view it on the map. You can change the opacity of the census layer by using the slider bar under the layer name. Select any census area on the map to see its name, code and statistics in the sidebar. Use the download button to download the statistics for this layer. If you need more than one layer and statistics for larger areas, we do recommend that you use our Society Data Download tool. As you zoom further in, you'll notice smaller census areas appear and the percentages for an area are displayed. The smallest areas used to create census statistics are called output areas. They're required to have a specific minimum size to ensure the confidentiality of data. For the 2011 census, the recommended minimum size was 125 households in England and Wales. Find out more about the areas used to produce statistics from UK census data in this guide from the Office for National Statistics, www.ons.gov.uk forward slash methodology forward slash geography forward slash UK geographies forward slash census job. In the neighbourhood category, there's just one layer, neighbourhood descriptions. This classification of output areas was created from the 2011 census data by the Office for National Statistics and University College London. Again, you can select any area to see more details about its classification in the sidebar. They make for really interesting viewing and you can read more about how this was created at this link on the Office for National Statistics website www.ons.gov.uk forward slash methodology forward slash geography forward slash geographical products forward slash area classifications forward slash 2011 area classifications. Remember that with the drawing tools in the sidebar you can add symbols, shapes, text and images to your map. You can also import your own data to overlay on the map in the drawing tools menu. Measure lines and areas with the measurement tools Save your map within Digimap Collections using the My Maps menu in the sidebar. The print, the print tool is available on the top toolbar and allows you to create a printable map file at sizes from A4 to A0. I hope that's been a useful introduction to Society Roam. Please get in touch with any questions or comments.